Wide of the net, takes a leap bounce behind for Colbert. It's a sight fans in Anaheim are hoping they can put behind them. Here's a shot by Shetty scores! The sight of blown leads and duck losses. Things appear to be turning around, but what goes on behind the scenes when a team slumps? We follow the Ducks for seven days for an in-depth look. By late November, the Ducks' losing streak had reached seven games, and while Ducks general manager Bob Murray was unavailable to media, former Ducks GM Brian Burke, the architect behind the team's only Stanley Cup championship, was in town and offered his insight on the trouble in Anaheim. What typically happens when your team is going through a slump, you tinker with your lines, you call a guy up if you think that'll help, uh, but basically all teams go through that. Uh, even the year we won the cup here, I think we lost four in a row twice. There's pressure on you when you go through a slump to make a change, but you can always make a bad deal. You know, the, the key is to make a trade that makes your team better, not to react to fan pressure or, or media negativity because you're not playing well. So, no, uh, like I said, Bob Murray knows what he's doing. He doesn't need my advice. The Ducks would lose to Burke's Leafs, extending their slump to just two wins in 18 games. Here's a shot, save, rebound, score! It seems to me that nothing works. When things go bad, they really go bad, you know, and uh, you try to stay positive and try to bright, find some bright sides, but I don't really see any bright sides, really. But the show must go on, and the Ducks hit the ice the next day, and coach Randy Carlisle, the man who coached them to their lone championship, is doing everything he can to get players to respond, but fans are demanding his dismissal. You know, it gets harder to come to the rink every day like this, and, uh, you know, for sure. Um, you know, our ultimate leader in, in Randy, there is certainly no acceptance. You could say that for him. He certainly comes to the rink every day to to try and find their way to get out of the rut, I guess is the best way to put it. He's, you know, he's methodical and he's, he's trying different things. It's game day and Montreal is in town and the media has shown up in numbers. The internet and media outlets are a buzz that forward Bobby Ryan is on the trading block. Obviously their job is to speculate and, and go with their gut instinct in a lot of situations. They can only get the facts from the room and um, I, I certainly think they manufacture or, or you know stretch the truth or whatever you want to call it because you know they're they're ultimately doing their job and that's to, to report on the issues that they see wrong with the team and, and relay those to the to you know the rest of the world I guess. When you go through situations in which we're going through right now, these are these are the things that do come up and do uh, uh, become part of what you guys want to talk about. It's the reality of the business. That's sports. When you're not having success, there's going to be challenges put out. There's going to be criticisms of every member of the organization and the coaching staff included. It's unsettling and it's it's a little frustrating at times. I, I don't necessarily think that uh, you know you can read into every report or every um, you know blogger or, or whatever it is or wherever the source is. You just kind of gotta rely on the people around you that uh, you pay good money to, you like your agents and things, and they keep you in the loop as much as they can. But rumors like this and the constant media scrutiny are hard on players. Players must put rumors aside and perform on the ice. I, I think that when the team plays this poorly, especially in this sport, there are changes that are made almost all the time, and this is definitely a team that has all the earmarks of one that needs changes, that needs something to shake it out of its slumber and I, I, so I don't think although some of it like you said is probably manufactured I think I think that something is gonna happen. The Ducks would finally get a win after losing 16 of their last 18 games but it was too late and change was occurring. After watching the way we played on Friday and Sunday it, I decided that it was time for a new voice. Randy Carlisle and his entire coaching staff has been let go, and Bruce Boudreau has been brought in to provide a new voice. I felt like we let Randy down a little bit, and the fact that um, he put a lot into things and he did a lot of different things well, and um, we just weren't able to turn it around. And by the next day, it's apparent the change has given the team a boost. The Ducks would lose in overtime, but their new coach sees hope. I like that's good. I think he did a really good job and a lot of positive things out there and, you know, uh, 
Um, obviously, he must be frustrated too about the penalties. You know, he knew that this team has a, pro a penalty problem. The energy and the enthusiasm on the bench, I thought, was really good. And I knew um, everybody left everything they had on the ice. Having a new coach represents an opportunity for many players, but especially forward Matt Bolesky, who was placed on waivers just a week earlier. Sure, the coach has seen us play before, but he's never actually uh, coached you, so you know it's almost like a training camp type thing, but just in the middle of the season. So it's a, uh, it's exciting. You know, there's a buzz in the room. There's a good energy in the room right now, which is uh, really good.